The state and local tax deduction, previously unlimited, was capped at $10,000 by the previous administration as a way to help pay for a massive tax cut. It targeted blue states like New Jersey, and since then, restoring the deduction has become a rallying cry for Democrats. But some progressives are saying restoring the deduction is a gift to the wealthy. It's overwhelmingly higher income families. You know, if the SALT deduction cap is lifted, it's not going to matter one way or the other for three out of four New Jersey families. It's overwhelmingly claimed by folks at the high end. Carl Davis is research director at the D.C.-based Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy and co-author of the report, Not Worth Its Salt, which concluded the vast majority of families, regardless of race, would not benefit from a salt cap repeal, and families of color are even less likely to see any tax benefit. For black and Hispanic families especially, uh, the numbers are, of people claiming it are far lower. So, you know, lifting the salt cap, about half the tax cut from that flowing into New Jersey will go to millionaires. How's that not a tax break for the rich? I'm, I'm looking at the study from the Star Ledger. There's lots of different studies out here that manipulate the numbers. I'm going with my hometown paper. The Star Ledger, Jonathan Slant reported last week that if SALT is reinstated, 3 million residents will get a tax cut. 80% of them make less than $216,000 a year. So it kind of depends on what your definition of middle class is. But can you argue with numbers that say those families would see around $140 in tax relief, while the typical million-dollar household would see about $44,000 in relief? I think our job has to be, and that's my job, to make things more affordable here, to get taxes down, and to make sure that we can still live here in a way that's affordable for families of all income brackets and not keep losing people to other states. And the racial and socioeconomic disparities? Well, Gottheimer and the co-chair of the so-called SALT Caucus, Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, represent districts that are overwhelmingly white, with an average household income of more than $110,000. You could argue, as Gottheimer kind of did there, that they're doing what's in the best interest of the people of the district that elected them. The reason that you see this in wealthy families is because they're the ones paying the most in state and local taxes. They are the ones funding, like I said, our great public school system. They're the ones making sure that we have a strong middle class and opportunities for a middle class and opportunities for some of the, the poor people in our state to have those, those inroads into the middle class. As it stands now, the president is a no on restoring SALT unless... Democrats want to propose a way to eliminate SALT, which is not a revenue raiser, as you know. It costs more money, and they want to propose a way to pay for it, and they want to put that forward. We're happy to hear their ideas. Gottheimer proposes cracking down on loopholes and tax cheats, a source of income the administration is already targeting for its own priorities, leaving Democrats in the unenviable position of fighting amongst themselves to restore tax savings for a group that probably needs it the least. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.